virtual health services have taken great st- strides and uh, I guess most of us or many of us have had a huge uptake of telephone, telehealth, medical consultations and online consultations, especially during COVID. How relevant have those services been for seniors? Well, our core business at Health Direct is to provide 24 hours health information whenever you need to access it. And we provide these services via multiple channels, including our website, our app. Um, we also have helplines uh, that are available 24 hours and uh, also provide information through our social media networks. During the COVID pandemic uh, as well, we pro- provided um, trusted information online because, as we know, there was a load of information available online and you really want trusted information. So Health Direct provides trusted, reliable public health information um, and allows you to access information when face-to-face uh, contact is impossible in the after-hours period and in rural and remote regions um, as well. And this applies to to your listeners too, who, you know, during the COVID-19 pandemic, it was difficult to access medical services. Neither did we want to go out uh, and um, put ourselves at risk. Um, And this is where we were able to fill those gaps. Gosh, what a great service. Wonderful. Doctor, it seems to me that there's a a couple of challenges here. One is that that I, I guess... Even without COVID, there was a necessity for us to become uh, better u- better users of of digital health services. But at the same time, people who, uh, in many cases, the people who who need the health services may not be so digitally um, experienced. So, how do you complementary train people to use the service and the nature of the service itself? Well, we provide our services across a number of different channels. One of the services we provide is a helpline service, a 24-hour health direct information and advice service operated by registered nurses and available free to all Australians. You can dial in any time of day or night um, with any health concern. Um, Our app that is free to download is actually extremely user-friendly, has really great graphics and um, in fact, um, I've shown it to my dad and he's used it himself um, and found it very useful. And my dad is definitely somebody who's been technologically challenged. So mm-hmm. I think, uh, you know, we've made it so that it appeals to the majority of people, including, uh, you know, many of your listeners who have seen such change over their lifetimes in, in, in digital technology. Mm. Or it's as simple as a phone call. Correct. Absolutely. You know, while the while the COVID was was at, at its peak, uh, this was a vital service for people to be able to use. And then it seemed that when COVID started to drop off a little bit, if if indeed it ever did, um, it seems mm-hmm. as though we start to withdraw some of those services that you that that some of the medical uh, services were saying. No, well, now that COVID's m- mitigated a little bit, you need to come in and and they've tapered it down a little bit. Is that right? Well, actually, Lex, um, on the contrary, um, Health Direct have continued to evolve our COVID services because as COVID evolves uh, and we have uh, evolved our management uh, and understanding of it, we've had to adapt as well. So we have firstly a symptom checker uh, on our app and online Um, that uh, you can enter symptoms that you may have if you think you have COVID. And it can tell you then uh, whether you've got, you know, a very mild case of COVID, whether you need to actually go and see a GP or whether you need to go to emergency if you've got more serious symptoms. And we've adapted 